what's going on everybody welcome back to my garage all right so today is a very interesting day because i stumbled across a, another car mod that is still a very big work in progress if i can call it that so this is a chevy k1500 and it's based on a jesse so i've had quite a lot of fun building this thing up um, so luckily all of the parts are available in the catalog so there's no scavenging in the junkyard so this specific one i put some lift suspension on and i put on these big fat meaty tires on and yeah unfortunately the vehicle is based on the jesse so it's that's why the steering column is sitting so low so yeah he still hasn't created any windows or seats or anything so I just put in a fury bench to see if it's going to help with us sitting a little bit higher but as you can see it's still quite a bit low. Alright but yeah luckily you can drive it in third person no problem and it actually works quite well because I did load all of the wheels and tires on the back of this pickup truck and yeah it doesn't fall out it also snaps to the vehicle so that is a good thing to know. Alright so yeah I'm gonna basically start this video and showing how you can build one of these and i'll also put a link to the discord where you can find this mod if you are interested in trying it for yourself because it is open to public anybody can join the guy's discord and yeah feel free to test out these mods all right so we are heading off to the garage and i've got a jesse already prepared there that i can start taking apart so yeah, I'll be doing this video in sections once again, because there's quite a lot going on building one of these. Alright, so we've got a nice new shop truck actually. Alright, let's just hop out here and get the shop opened up. It actually drives quite well, handles pretty much like a JC. So these are donor vehicle I think this thing I also built uh, quite a while ago I actually just put it in the garage over here alright so yeah we are gonna start stripping this thing and see what it's all about building this uh, Chevy truck we have over there all right, let me grab my toolbox with the cutting disc on I think it's this one you see, yeah, that's the one. All right, I'm gonna take it over to the Jesse, and then we're gonna start stripping it from the front, because it's a lot easier if you do this in sections. So you're gonna start off by removing the fenders and everything. So you don't even have to take the engine out, at least. But yeah, it's quite a process. So I will take it step by step. So we won't need any of these parts, fenders or hoods or anything. Come on. Alright, so I'm gonna start. Well, let's take the radiator off because we are gonna need the radiator again. So here we go. I'm gonna just loosen these for now. And we can also take off the upper arm. And let's get our shock off as well. There we go. Other one can take this one off All right, and just set that aside so the reason why I'm only loosening one side at a time is because I'm gonna do one panel at a time because if you don't do this right the first time the parts actually becomes unpickable so yeah, it's a little bit difficult because I had a quite a bit of trouble getting that one built so that's why I've decided to make a little how-to on this vehicle it's probably just because it's got some bugs still so 
Not too bad. I must say this guy, he's actually done another mod, uh, a BMW E39 mod, which is available on Nexus. So it's the exact same guy that is making this mod for the Chevy truck, which I think a lot of people are going to be interested in, seeing as it's a proper American truck, or pickup truck. Alright, so now what we can do is we can start cutting the front section off here. Mm, there we go. Should have actually taken the grill off. Would have made it easier to see, but that's okay. We don't need any of that. And we're gonna cut the the side off first and replace it with the correct part and then put it back together and then we'll do the other side. Alright, so you have to cut the inner fender off. And we don't need this anymore. So that is the right side. So let's go ahead to our catalog. So the easiest way to find this will be to just type in K1500. And there you've got all of your parts. So we are looking for the front right wheel well. Now some of these parts you need to be sure you grab it. Because sometimes if you pick it up you cannot pick it up again. So we're going to start off by putting this one in place. And what I would like to do is basically just put one well down so that it doesn't fall off. We are going to remove the firewall as well. Right, so now for me to make sure this thing goes nowhere, I'm just going to bolt the side down again. And then we'll do the other side. Alright, so I almost forgot I need to take this battery tray out because we are going to need this. So this will go back onto our new fender liner that we are going to put in the car. Alright, so where's my angle grinder now? Uh, let me actually grab the front uh, radiator support, I think. Yeah, this one. Alright, so let's just go and tack this thing on on the one side. So, just one spot for now, that's fine. I'm looking for my damn grinder. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna chop it off over here. And there, and there, then it should come out. Alright, we don't need that. And now let's go by the right side. Uh, left side sorry yeah on the left so we're gonna put this one on and just get that welded in and I'm probably out of gas yeah I actually need to go and refill again at some point but that is fine okay there we go now the reason why I keep using the MIG welder is just a little bit easier because it's uh, it's it's cable is longer. You can actually do a lot more with this welder. I can come and weld all the way back here almost. So all right, so that is pretty much the front end of this car cut off and done. So let's continue with the next part. So the next part will be basically the firewall. So we are going to go ahead and remove all of these things attached to the firewall that we are going to need again. Okay. Also got to get those pedals off. And the brake booster obviously is attached to that as well. I just have to be careful not to push the truck because this thing doesn't have a handbrake on anymore. Okay, we're not going to need that. We're not going to need the dashboard because that doesn't fit in the other truck. We don't need this wipers. I might as well take this off while we're at it. <coughs> so yeah, there we go. Alright, so tell me, how's everybody doing? Uh, 
drop some comments down below if you are enjoying my videos on my garage so yeah there's quite a couple of car mod videos out already so I do attach the playlist to that every single time on my new videos I release so you guys can find it a bit easier if you are interested in watching it all right so I think I can also take the roof off now Now somebody needs to make a mod for like chalk blocks so you can block your car if you don't have a handbrake cable uh, okay so yeah busy working on this firewall now mm, let's put that down there for a second uh, so where does this firewall I don't think that is it <coughs> Hmm, oh yeah, of course. And that should do it. So that we don't need anymore. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the firewall for this truck. If I can just find it. Okay, there we go. And let's get it welded in. So I think the firewall is also one of the things that is a bit of a problem. Okay, mm I actually just want to attach it to the front inner panels because this um, floor still needs to come out. So I don't really weld, want to weld those in. I might have to cut that off again but I think that is pretty much the front end part so now we can go ahead and fit all of our goodies at the front so I'm gonna do that now let's grab a hood so yeah, it's a little bit frustrating doing all of these things one at a time but it's just the safest way because sometimes these things once you buy them and you don't end up putting them in right way then you can't pick it up again so basically what you need to also consider uh, building this thing is visualize yourself working on a jesse because that's pretty much where all of the bolts and welds and things are for example these fenders so this is actually where the jesse's fenders would be normally so just to give you an idea the structure is uh, much wider than the jesse and it's also a lot higher Alright, so let's grab the other fender. Oh, there we go. Luckily you can pick that one up again. Alright, so there should be a bolt here somewhere and another one down here. There we go. Alright, so that is pretty much the front end of this truck. So we can go ahead and get all of the little bells and whistles. So I think this is the grill frame this has got some screws pretty much where the Jesse has got screws so you need to be sure to crouch down and just spot the screws over here so there they are as well as the grill bars if you grab that you can bring it over and slap it in and this is also bolted down if I'm not mistaken these screws over here yeah that's the two that usually goes in the middle for the little grill of the Jesse so as I say all of the bolts and screws are in the same place and also the headlights um, so the headlights are quite uh, yeah interesting so let's start with the left top one so you basically need to aim for the right place so if I were to try and put it there where the left the furthest left headlight would be it will end up being in the wrong place but if you end up putting it there and it's pretty much in the right place but that would have been the inner headlight on the Jesse and also the screws are at the same place as where the normal headlights would be 
but yes as i said this is still the development stage of the actual mod so everything is still pretty much very bearable all right so now i just sort of have to make sure all of these screws are tightened down and oh, there's the last one so that is our left headlights basically mounted so let's grab the right ones uh, top right and top bottom mm, just hope I'm going to be able to pick these things up all right so once again this one is the bottom one which is the outer light and I'm gonna push the truck away okay so I got those three let's see if we can get this one Okay, so on the inner panel, on the inside, and then we just make sure we screw them all down. Alright, so there's our headlights, our nose part is basically done. So let me grab the front bumper. There we go. Alright, let's get this thing mounted. So yeah, I'm thinking for this one, I'm going to try and make it like a slammed version. Uh, so I just want to remember where these bolts are. There they are. It's over there. That's for the front bumper. That's where they should be for the Jesse. Alright, so now we can move on with our floor pan over here, which is the biggest headache I've had. So we need to cut off both of our rocker panels and our floor as well and make sure nothing is in the way because if you bring that floor pan and you try and mount it and it doesn't mount then you cannot pick it up again. I spent like three or four hours saving and quitting the game and reloading and all that just to get that part fitted so yeah believe me when I say that's a bit of a headache at the moment still. I think this part will have to come off as well. That is the support for the torsion bars. All right, so you wanna go ahead and remove all of this parts for the floor and the rocker panels and the attachments. All right, so there's our floor that is gone. All right, now let's see if I can get these rocker panels taken off okay so there's the left one let's go and get the right one cut off as well oh okay good and I think this should stay in place all right let me throw it other way so now we need our floor our cab floor which hopefully we will be able to mount successfully without any trouble so the pictures looks like um, the normal jesse parts once again in the catalog all right so there it is now let's quickly grab our welder mm, where the hell did i put the welding handle Come on, this is the worst time for me to look for this thing. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, there it is. Freaking hell. Alright, if I can at least get this thing welded up in one place, then we are good. Alright, so hopefully it won't be any problems anymore. Okay, so that is our floor in, which was my biggest headache with the previous build over there. Okay, so let's have a look and see. I am looking for the rocker panels now. The left one. Let's go and weld that in place. So yeah, it's a lot of running up and down. Alright, so I do want to ask if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so, because, yeah, I'm going to do a whole new roleplay series soon. Or well, not really a roleplay, but more like a, a super hard mode series on this game, 
so we all know the actual hard mode of the game isn't that hard uh, especially considering you can do a lot of work in the junkyard and just sell parts and stuff like that so no, definitely stick around for that because that's going to be interesting so be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications because yeah that series will be coming to the channel very soon uh, i just want to cover this mod and also the bmw e39 so once i have done that i'm going to start the recordings on the new series that i just mentioned so yeah be sure to check that out uh, we are going to have to chop that off again, but I'll do that when we need to. So for the moment, I think we can grab our cab roof and get that welded on. Alright, so just a matter of finding it. Oh, there we go. Alright, and let's grab this, see that is where the Jesse's roof is supposed to be, uh, that'll probably have to come off again, so but I think if I just weld these in it should stay, I don't want to weld onto that, alright so now let's go and grab our two doors and put our stuff on and in on the inside there. Uh, so let's grab all of these things, put them back in place. So yeah, everything sits kind of in the default place where the Jesse's parts would be. That is why the steering is so low and the seats are very low. And so we've got our steering wheel, which is very low. As you can see, that actually looks weird. And I think this actually uh, also kind of floats somewhere over here. Mm. And just find this, at least I can put the e-brake on. Okay, that'll help a lot. Mm, let's get our pedals back in place. There we go. Alright, so just bolt our suspension up. There we go, there's the shock absorber. And put that back in place. Alright. Let's do the passenger side as well. Okay, so that is our suspension sorted again. Uh, I can probably do this now. The radiator, let's get that put back. So this is the standard JC radiator. And let's grab our battery tray. Or battery, yeah. I think it's called a battery tray. Here we go, so that is back in place. We can also put our fuel line in because we don't have to move or fiddle the engine at all. And if I can just find this check mark over here. Alright, and zip that down. Okay, so next I'm going to put in our battery cable skin. So obviously there is a bolt mm, somewhere over here for the earth. There it is. It's basically from the inside of the fender. You can get it there. You can our ground wire down and also the starter wire.
Cheerio.